Welcome to this week's Peter's Perspective. In this week's Peter's Perspectives, we'll be examining and looking at the changing work environment. And specifically, we're talking about the dilemma of work from home, work in the office, or a hybrid situation. Now, we at the Everest Group has been investigating these work from home, uh, these, this set of issues through a variety of vehicles. And we, in fact, we have um, research on this area. But let me give you the dilemma that I think all firms face. Now, what I'm doing here is synthesizing our work. So this is not just one study. But roughly what we're finding is that in many companies, you can divide the working population into a third. A third are looking to return to the office, particularly here we're talking about white collar workers. They're looking to return to the office. They value the office environment. Often this third are, are young and fun. Uh, they are earlier on in their careers. They're looking for the development and the advancement that the office can bring them. Another third would like to stay permanently working from home. Now, this group often are characterized by being more mature, more further along in their careers, and having um, and uh, and often will have already moved away and returned to their hometowns or another location. There is another third which are looking for some kind of compromise. We'll call this a hybrid. They're looking for the benefits of work from home and for the flexibility of the benefits of working from the office and the flexibility of working from home. So a third, a third, a third. Now, the, clearly we have contrasting interests with, with different populations wanting what the others don't want. Now, as we think about this from a firm perspective, this is particularly troubling in today's great resignation. We know from our other research that working environment is one of the significant reasons why people are looking to leave. We further know that once someone started looking, in fact, we just did a survey which showed that 75% were interested in leaving and over half of the people we surveyed were actively looking. But we know that when they do look, they will find a job quickly and they will be paid significantly more than their current job. We're finding um, that they're getting paid often 30% or more, in some instances doubling what they're currently making. So anyone who starts to look is likely to find a job and get paid a lot more. <clears throat> so this issue of work environment is important to, for, for employee retention as well as productivity in getting work done. Here's the dilemma. Well, we can think about saying, well, if a third want to stay in working from home and a third want to return to the office, maybe the, we can thread the needle with the other third in creating a hybrid environment. But this has substantial complications. The first one I already alluded to, many, some of your population is likely already relocated to their hometowns or a more desirable place. They've got out of the big city or the city you're working in, and they're uninterested in returning. So that's one of the issues that you that we have to deal with. But there's a more fundamental issue, which is um, often the as the young and fun, the group that want to return to the office, which are often the younger people looking for the collegiality, looking for that vibe, looking to be developed in a way that offices really help, need the um, the more mature people to be there to help development and to help with that environment. Yet the more mature, often the more tenured people are more comfortable working from home and maximizing on flexibility. So as you can see, we have a difficult path forward, but a path we must work as COVID recedes, we return, have the opportunity to return to the office and the great resignation continues. Sobering thoughts as we enter 2022.